A Baintown family will be getting a brand new home next week, courtesy of the government. The family of seven has been living in squalor for a number of years. That is until Bain and Grantstown Urban Renewal stepped in to give them a fresh start. Altavis Munnings has their story. A family of seven has been living in this two-bedroom home on Bow Street for five years. They've made some renovations to this dilapidated structure to make it their own home. But all of that changed on Tuesday. It only took a tractor about 10 minutes to demolish the home off Finlayson Street, thanks to the Bain and Grantstown Urban Renewal Program. Johnny Isha Sherman thanks everyone involved in helping her family move into a new home. I'm more happy for my mommy because she's been through a lot. But she went been talking about it ever since they, before they even started, from they tell her what they was going to do. So be more happy for the children and her. And the new two-bedroom, one-bathroom residence is located directly behind their old home. Construction began this past February. An officer in charge of the Bain and Grantstown Urban Renewal Program, Inspector Anthony Roll, says the family will move in next week Friday after an official dedication ceremony. So we decided to um, pick uh, the voice of the voice and this one was chosen so we decided to put our community effort together to to reconstruct a home for this family. Bain and Grantstown Member of Parliament, the Honorable Dr. Bernard Nottage, watched the demolition Wednesday afternoon. He believes it will create a cleaner neighborhood and restore this historic area of New Providence. We've learned now how to get it done, not through the official urban renewal channels, but through being available and, and visible in the area, gaining people's confidence and finding out what their, what their problems are. And so this is, we, we hope that this is just going to be the first of several. Another house demolition is scheduled for Bain and Grantstown by the end of the year. Altabee's Munnings is at NS Network News.